Hey beauties. So today we're gonna do another first impression of a palette. That is what I like to do. That's what we're doing today. So this one actually is the Zoeva Caramel Melange. I believe I'm saying that right. I don't know. You know, I have, I struggle to pronounce words correctly. So I'm going with that. It is a palette that I actually picked up from the Ipsy Plus when we did our customization. It was one of the add-on options for $12. I thought that was a great deal. Um, I've talked about on the channel before the uh, the current September 2020, 21 Days of Beauty at Ulta is also going on and they did Zoeva palettes for 50% off one day and they were on sale for $14. So this actually was a little bit cheaper to pick it up here. Um, this was one of the ones that I really had wanted from Ulta when I looked at them. I opted not to order that day. So far, I've only ordered two days. Very proud of myself. I've wanted to order almost every day, but I have, you know, restrained. I have done well. Um, there is one more day I know I'm definitely ordering and um, I'm probably gonna be done. So now that being said, in those, you know, two days, I've already spent almost $250. And then the next day, it's probably gonna be another like $200. So it's not like I haven't spent money. It's just, I haven't spent as much as I could have. So you know, little victories. The little victories are what are important here. But um, the Zoeva Carbol Melange palette uh, for 12 bucks, got it from Ipsy and inside it's absolutely gorgeous. I will say this is a lot closer to what it looked like on Ipsy's on Ulta's website. Uh, their colors were very dark, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. It is a very light and neutral palette. I think it's going to be something that we can create a really beautiful look with. Don't know why I chose to, to wear gray today because this is a brown tone palette, but we're just, we're gonna roll with it because I'm not changing my shirt, so it is what it is. I'm thinking for today's look, if you guys can't really tell on the camera, I know sometimes it's challenging, these are all very neutral matte shades. These six are, these um, are all glitter pigments. And this one is kind of an interesting glitter pigment. Um, these are all just your standard kind of like shimmeries. And these, this one looks almost matte and it just has like gold reflectiveness in it almost. It doesn't really look like, even the texture looks different. Interesting, I'm, I'm excited to see. I think that's probably gonna wind up being my darkening shade for my back corner if you guys know what I normally do. I'm thinking what we're going to go with is this on the center of the eye on my lid. We're gonna blend it out with, and that one is Start Soft. We're gonna blend it out with Alchemy, which is over here. Um, I'm going to blend into my eyebrow with Universal Delight, which is this kind of mid neutral one because this white shade is just a little bit lighter than I think what I'm trying to do. Um, and then when I go and do my half cut crease, I think I'm actually going to go in with Almost Burnt, which is the lightest glitter pigment we have. And I'll darken it up with this shade back here, which is Edible Gem. That is the plan for today. We'll see how it goes. You know, sometimes best laid plans go awry and a lot of times I'll lay it out for you guys and then I'll completely forget what I said because it happens. <laughs> because my memory is that of a goldfish. I can remember something that happened like 15 years ago, but I can't remember what I said three seconds ago. I just have zero short-term memory. So it do be like that, but let us jump in. Today, I was trying to come up with a distraction chat. I think they've been working well. I think it's entertained you guys, hopefully, hopefully. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just outwardly optimistic about that, but I think it has worked better. It has definitely helped me a little bit. And I did not have a topic. I didn't, I was trying to think about movies or shows I could talk about. I didn't really have any. I was like, books, nah, nah. What do I talk about? So here's what I'm thinking for today. We've never really on the channel done like a, you know, sit down and get to know you type video. There's a lot of like, a lot of times you do Q and A's and stuff like that. YouTube channels will do Q and A's. And I personally really like them. I think it gives you a chance to kind of get an insight into a creator that you don't necessarily like aspects of them you don't really know. So what is the easiest thing for me to talk about? Well, I guess it's me. That sounds so conceited, but I mean, I don't really know what else to talk about. So I'm just gonna talk about some things that I think might be interested, interesting for you guys to learn about me. I guess we'll start off by, for the channel purposes, I will I will go ahead and tell you guys. A lot of people have pointed it out because everybody likes this picture that my mom got me, but they notice like for the channel purposes, I decided to go by Andy. Andy is a derivative of my middle name, Amanda. My parents kind of fought over my dad wanted to name me Amanda Taylor. My mom wanted to name me Taylor Amanda. So I, I, my name is Taylor. My middle name is Amanda and I always said like, I was always sad growing up that I didn't have like a nickname. Like people would call me Tay like 
close family friends and stuff, they would call me Tay, but like always in school, I was like, man, I wanna be one of those people who they are like, what do you go by? And I'm just like, I just go by my name. And so many people have like cool nicknames and stuff. And I was like, man, I want that. My sophomore year of high school, I took creative writing class. And one of our things we had to do was come up with like, um, what is the like the pseudonym that you go by? What is the, there's a name for it. I keep thinking anagram, but that's not right. Isn't, that's, it, isn't it a pseudonym? Is it a pseudonym? I think it's a pseudonym. Maybe. I don't know, but whatever, like what your writing name would be basically. And it is something I've thought about cause you know, I was in theater and so I was, you know, you always think about like, well, if I, am I gonna have a stage name? Am I gonna go by my real name? When I it was sitting in this creative writing class and trying to come up with something, I was, I was trying to come up with something off of, you know, Taylor and that didn't really work. And then somehow I came up with, I went to my middle name and I thought about like Mandy. And then I thought about, well, Mandy is a, a very common, nickname for Amanda. So what about Andy? And then I was like, and I'll spell it with an IE instead. And I've just loved it since then. So this has been, you know, sophomore year of high school, you're what, 15 and I'm now 26. So it's been a long time that I've really enjoyed that name. So that's kind of when we were talking about going to the YouTube channel, I was like, do I go by Taylor? Like, does it really matter? And we were just kind of like, for the purpose of the channel, let's just say we're going to go by Andy. And that's how, that's how Andy started. I don't care, you guys can refer to me as Andy, you can refer to me as Taylor. I don't care either way. It's kind of like, the way I, I kind of came up with it is Nikki's been a huge PewDiePie fan forever. I like PewDiePie, I enjoy his content a lot too. So I was like, well, he goes by PewDiePie, but that's not his name. So what does it matter? Like, what does it matter if I go by Andy or sometimes and I go by Taylor or something? Like it just, it is what it is. So that was kind of how uh, that got started. So for anybody who's wondered like, you know, what's up with the picture frame in the background that says Taylor and Nikki and you call Nikki, Nikki, but you go by Andy, like that is why. That's that's the backstory for that. Okay, so jumping back to the palette, I, um, I really like how this laid down, very smooth, very seamless, really pretty color. Like I said, very neutral, but still is, present. Sometimes with neutral palettes, you kind of get like, they might get lost or they're just a little bit too neutral. I don't feel like that at all. I really like this a lot. It's actually a little bit more like clay colored, like red brown than I thought it was going to be just by looking at it on the pan. So really enjoying it so far. We're going to jump into now Alchemy, which is the blending shade that I pointed out. And I'm just going to blend that out kind of, I'm going to do it pretty high up, I think, and probably all the way. Normally I kind of, you know, keep it down low. But yeah, I think I'm gonna blend it out a little bit further than I normally would because I think it's gonna be, oh yeah. First of all, it really is very, I mean, the color match for these two is almost seamless. It's just slightly lighter, but it, oh wow. Yeah, really pretty, really, really pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, cool. So we're liking this shade, it's sweet. Um, so yeah, so back to back to me. So that's, that's the story behind my name, how we came up with the name for the channel. Or, well, okay, well, I, I wasn't even thinking about that, but just going off Dark Angel Beauty. Dark Angel, I, that was something too. I wanted to kind of come up with something because I really didn't want, didn't want the channel to just be my name because it's not, it's not just me and that's really important for me. I think a lot of, um, a lot of YouTubers are doing a lot, especially when they start out on their own, they're editing everything, they're filming it all by themselves and that's not what it is. It's me and Nikki as a team. And so I wanted to kind of come up with something that represented me, but also show that it wasn't just me doing this. <laughs> I kind of thought about the two, sides of my personality, which is I'm very much like aesthetically, I, I gravitate towards dark things. I've always been kind of into the darker aspects of it. I love horror. Sylvia Plath is my favorite author. Like I just kind of gravitate towards darkness. And Nikki is the same way. We were both born on 13s. So um, I was born on April 13th. He was born on June 13th and we want to get married on October 13th. You know, it's just Halloween's our favorite holiday. And it, it's just something that's always been really a big part of my personality, like even as a little kid. So I was like, okay, all right, we'll come up with something that kind of relates to that. But I also have a very soft side, like a very, like I'm super emotional. I've talked on the channel about like being an empath. I definitely am very sensitive, um, like even, <laughs> It's, it's gonna sound so stupid, but like even like some comments that are not mean, they're just like constructive, hurt my feelings sometimes. And that's stupid, that's on me. That's not on anybody but me. That's something I have to work on. And then he's like, well, we're gonna start getting negative comments like a lot more the bigger we get. So you just gotta like thicken your skin. And I'm like, well, that's easier said than done, my friend. So, you know, I am a very aware that I'm also a sensitive and soft person. So there was kind of like this, I was kind of trying to come up with something that was like, what, okay, where is there like a, a meat in the middle? And I came up with Dark Angel just because like, you know, I felt like it worked kind of. I don't know. I liked it. I thought it was cute. Yeah. Now, now it's, now we're here. Here we are a year later doing Dark Angel th things. 
So that was how the that was how I came up with the name of the channel too. Now that that was just kind of an extra story. I wasn't planning on talking about that. I guess the next thing to talk about that might be interesting to you guys is how Nikki and I met. Cause that's kind of an interesting story. I think I talked about a long time ago, like a good while ago, like last Halloween. I think I talked about how um, we got engaged because we got engaged on Halloween, but I've never really talked about our relationship. Our relationship is, it's interesting and not interesting at all. <laughs> like it should be interesting, but it's also kind of just boring. And like not, not in a bad way, in a good way. Like it's just like, we're not that exciting of people really. When you boil us down, we're just kind of here. Just, I'm just sitting here doing my makeup stuff and he's just sitting here doing his editing stuff and we're just living. We met in high school. We met actually his freshman year, my senior, or my, my senior, his freshman year, my sophomore year, because I'm a year older than he is. And we were in the same theater class and my best friend at the time, her boyfriend like had been friends with him, but they weren't really friends anymore. Quick tangent, I'm gonna jump into the Universal Delight, which is that neutral blending shade, and I'm gonna use the same brush, and I'm just gonna kind of blend up to my brow bone. I didn't know him at all, I didn't talk to him. He was just kind of there, like he existed. You know how you, like especially in high school, like you just kind of like, there are people who just are there and you don't really think about them. And I don't know, I guess that's probably how he felt about me. Like I just existed, but like we didn't really talk or know each other, so like whatever. But she, she had told me that he sucked. Like, she's just like, yeah, he's an asshole because what her boyfriend had told her. And I was like, okay, sure. So this kid's a douche. Like, I'm not concerned with it. I'm just like, all right, that's who he is. Okay. Flash forward into my senior year, his junior year of high school, we are in the same theater class again. She's also in that theater class with me. And so like, I would hang out with her and we would talk and, and she was separated from this guy now. So like, you know, we just kind of were like, whatever, like whatever. Like we were all existing, didn't really matter. Like we weren't really interacting. And then one day, I wish I could remember what it was you said, but one day we were getting assignments for something. We had to like read a play and then we had to like direct a play with the people in the class. And they were kind of like, they were plays that now having studied theater, I know more of, but they still were like, a lot of them were kind of obscure, really quick, like one act type things, not really, or we were taking like a, an act out of one play, but it wasn't like in depth, you know, I mean, it's high school theater. So it is, it is what it is. And so we got assignments or whatever. And Nikki makes some like comment or whatever. And I was standing near him and it made me laugh. And I was just like, that's funny. Senior year was rough for me. I went through, I didn't really date much in high school. And then I went through like two or three really interesting relationships at this point. And I like, when I say he made this comment, we were like two months from me graduating. I was about to go off to college. I did not care at all about dating somebody. So he makes this comment and I was kind of like, huh, that's funny. So then we started talking. Like we had to go sit in the theater and read these plays or whatever. And we just kind of sat there and like chit chatted instead of reading. And I was like, whatever. We had like two or three days to do this. And I was like, I don't, I can read this play in like one class period. So if I miss one, because we're just sitting there talking, like it's fine. So we were just kind of talking about like colleges and stuff like that. Cause I was about to leave for college. And he was like asking me about, you know, Hey, you're about to, to go off to college. Are you excited? And I was like, yeah, I'm nervous, but I'm ready for it. Like I'm ready to not be in high school. Cause like, I don't know if you liked high school, I'm, I'm happy for you, but I hated it. I just, most people I know did not like it. Maybe it was my high school. My high school was rough, but like, I just, it was not a good experience for me. So, and I wasn't a good experience for him either. So we were, he was like, yeah, I'm, I'm super jealous. I, I wish I were out. I have another year. And I was like, yeah, I am looking forward to it. I'm not gonna lie. So, so we're chit chatting, right? I'm actually going to do my under eye in the edible gem, which is that darkest shade. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna blend it out a little bit with, I'm probably gonna use Start Soft, which is the one that's like the base right now. And then we'll go in and we'll do concealer. We'll do the cut crease and we'll do the glitter shade. I'll darken it up and then we'll just kind of touch up and do mascara and see how it looks. I'm really liking it so far. I, the colors are super easy to work with. I'm kind of kicking myself. I, I knew I was gonna test this palette and be like, I should have bought more. Hopefully they'll do another sale at some point. I don't have to have them right away. I've got a lot of, I have so much makeup and we're about to move and it's just a lot to, to think about. So that was why I didn't do it. I was like, I don't need any more makeup right now. Obviously I need to save money, obviously. So like it, there were deciding factors in it, but I am a little bit kicking myself for not picking up some more cause I am really liking it. And I kind of figured that was gonna happen. So it do be like that. Ah. Okay, so back to the story. So yeah, so Nikki uh, off camera, he said, he said the one funny thing he's ever said in his whole life. And like, where's the lie? <laughs> Sorry, bud. Well, it worked. I'm stuck now. We're about to enter a legally binding contract. So he said, we're about to enter a legally binding contract for a whole butt ton of money. We ain't escaping that easily. So we're in a twin it now. 
And this was this was in 2012, if you guys are wondering. So we've been together like eight, almost nine years at this point. So he makes this comment or whatever, we're sitting there chit-chatting. And this is where it starts to get funny because this story is actually incredibly funny because Nikki was not at all smooth and he was the most awkward child I think I've ever seen. He was like, he weighed like a hundred pounds. I was really skinny. I'm not saying like I'm big now, but I was really skinny in high school. I probably weighed like 115 pounds and he was thinner than I was. He was skinny and just was like quiet and awkward, except for this one comment that he made, which was funny. He makes this comment, we sit there and talk. And at the end, I was just like, like I said, I had been through some relationships. I was not looking to date anybody, but I was like, this kid is entertaining. I don't really talk to anybody. So I was like, you should text me. So I gave him my number. I'm not gonna lie. I liked detention when I was in high school. What high school kid doesn't? So like, I, yeah, I was like hoping that he would talk to me and it would be like a nice little distraction. It would be nice. Well, he also got my best friend's number and he texted her that night and didn't text me. And I was pissed. I was mad. I was like, this dumb bitch. Like I wasn't, it wasn't even jealousy. I was just like, why did, cause Sierra was like, yeah, Nikki texted me. And I was like, that little son of a bitch. So <laughs> and I was like, like I said, it wasn't like I was like trying to be smooth or anything. I, I wasn't, I was not interested in dating him. I was just like, what? So I went to him and I was like, so why the hell did you text Sierra and not text me, you dumb bitch? And he was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> he was just like, I'm sorry. And so that night I worked in high school, I worked at a concession stand at like a little league field and it was really chill. I mean, I we would work mainly weekends and stuff, but we would work during the week at practices and stuff and you know, just sold like hot dogs and candy and snacks and stuff so that when people were on the field, they can come get stuff. And I was up in the little one cause we had two different locations. We had our main one and then we had one tiny one that was up on one of the baseball fields because it was too far to walk. It was slow. There wasn't a ton of practices and it was kind of rainy. And when it was rainy, we just didn't get as much business. I was cleaning and, and I had my phone out and I was like, you know, kind of texting. Nikki had finally texted me. So we were kind of like texting back and forth. And I don't remember how it went down, but at some point there was like a play going on that was put on by the school, but it was in Uptown. And they were like, do you, he was like, do you want to go see it? And I was like, sure, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So then I'm kind of like, I don't know what's like, are, is this like him flirting with me? Are we just friends? I don't really know. I'm talking to my friend about it too. The one that he texted and she's like, I don't know. Did you tell her that you liked me? No. I didn't tell anyone that I liked you. Okay. I didn't even tell myself that I liked you. What the ah! f does that mean? <laughs> you don't like me. He's like, I didn't <laughs> like you. He felt the same way I did. He was like, I didn't want to be in a relationship with this bitch either. And like, now here we are with a dog and a mortgage. At that point I was in so <laughs> deep. I was like, oh my God, this really pretty girl is talking to me. I don't, I don't know what to do. Let's go see this really cringy play. It was really, it was really truly uncomfortable. I don't know. It was like, I don't even know. It was Antigone, but it was a weird version of Antigone. Like I don't. With a saxophone and. It was interesting. Of course, the night we decide to go, everybody in our freaking theater class is there. And so they're all like trying to feel us out. Like, are they dating? Are they like friends? Like what is happening here? I didn't know. I, d I had no idea. I was like, I don't know. It was, it was interesting. And neither one of us drove, of course, let's put that out. Like neither one of us drove, like his parents dropped us off and my parents came and picked us up in Uptown. Everybody involved was trying to figure out what the hell was going on, us included. We are all just confused. It was just confusion. At the play, the play ends and my parents, we text my parents like, hey, come get, get us. But like, it's like a 30 minute drive from where we live. So they, they left and they, you know, came to get us. So we were sitting there hanging out for a little bit of time. And like I said, in this time period, everybody and their damn mother who knows us comes over to talk to us. The place that the play was at, it was, you know, one of the kind of nicer small theaters in Uptown area. And they had like these cool little chairs. There were like two chairs sitting next to each other. And so instead of like him sitting next to me, he sat on top of me in the most awkward damn way possible. I don't know what, I don't know if he was like, oh, we can both fit in the chair or what? Or if he was just like being creepy. I don't know. It was, it was weird. It was weird. I was like, what is happening? And he sat on top of me. He, he sat on top of me. I didn't sit on top of him. I was sitting in the chair and he like awkwardly like propped himself up with like part of him on top of my leg and like part of him like, he looked like he was like the leaning tower of Pisa. Just was just so weird. And so, you know, we were talking and, and chit chatting. And like I said, everybody in our theater class and, and you know, their mother and their cousin and their brothers and their uncles twice removed were coming over like, so what's, how you guys doing? How's, how's your Friday night going? And we're like, it's good. <laughs> it's 
Michael, which is chilling. That happens and we'll flash forward to the next day. The next day I was at work again. And this time we had found a whole bunch of like old shirts in storage and we were trying to get rid of them. So I sat outside the whole day and just sold t-shirts. And because of that, like my day was a lot chiller than it normally was. Normally I'd be inside doing stuff and I literally just sitting at a table and it was cold and rainy. And so I was like, all right, well, I'm just gonna sit here with the rain jacket on. And I texted Nikki a lot of the time because if people walked up to me, obviously I was gonna talk to him, but I was a high schooler and I was working at like the most unofficial job possible. So I was just kind of chilling. You know, we were talking and, and that night I was going to a lacrosse game with one of my friends from work. We go to this lacrosse game and I'm kind of talking about it. I'm like, I don't know what's going on with the situation and I don't know what to expect, but we had been talking pretty much the whole day. So at this point I'm thinking he's texting me almost the whole day. We hung out last night. He probably likes me. And I was trying to figure out how the hell I felt. Cause I was like, I like him as a person, but I'm about to leave for college. So like, what do I, what do I want to do? Do I want to enter another relationship? Do I want to just go live my life, be my own person, have fun in college? What do I want to do? I'm going to jump in now with the glitter shade. We just did the cut crease looking good. I'm gonna clean up probably a little bit of this back end just before we start. So we're, you know, talking all day and I go to this lacrosse game. I'm talking to my friend, like trying to figure out what I want to do. Do I, is this something that I wanna enter into? Is it something that I think is the wrong timing? And at this point, like my, my 18th birthday had just passed. It was April, the end of April, the very end of April. And he still hasn't like really said what he wanted. If he liked me, if he didn't like me, whatever. I'm just kind of reading between the lines cause I'm not oblivious. Sometimes I pretend like I am, but I, I normally have a pretty good feeling for these kind of things. He kind of tells me that night, like, I definitely like you. Um, you're really fun to hang out with. I think you're beautiful, all this kind of stuff. And so, but still isn't like, I want you to be my girlfriend. I think we should try and date. I don't know. It was just kind of like, that's that was the end of it. And I was like, okay, how do I feel? I don't know. My friend's trying to help me. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going through emotionally, mentally, if I want to deal with this. And I just, I don't know what. The next time we had theater, it was like Monday or Tuesday, whatever. My, my best friend's like, so what's happened? What's going on? She knew that I went to the play. She's like, I, I, what is going on? Are you guys together? Are you not together? I was like, I don't have a clue. I don't have a damn clue at all. And we weren't like, we would say hi to each other in person or whatever. We were kind of like trying not to be awkward about it. So it wasn't like we were like avoiding each other and not talking, but we just like weren't like all up each other's asses. He's, he was on the stage and we had another friend in this class and she had transferred from another school and she did not give a single flying shit. Like she would say whatever she wanted. She would do whatever she wanted. She was funny as hell. And she was in ROTC with Nikki. So I was the three of us sitting there talking and she's like, I'll find out, I'll be back. And we are like, what does that mean? And so we're sitting back we're just like, we're, me and my best friend just like chilling off into the side, like over where we've kept our book bags. We're just like, what is about to happen? So she walks up on stage and she just starts talking to him. And I don't, I don't know what she said. I don't know how the conversation went. But all of a sudden I hear from across the room, like, we are dating. <laughs> and I looked and see her and I was like, I guess we're dating. <laughs> like that was, it was just like, there was no asking me. There was no like, he just was like annoyed. And I guess he was just trying to deflect. And he finally was just like, we're dating. And I was like, I guess we're dating. <laughs> I've done a lot of awkward things in my life. That hands down is the cringiest thing I've ever done. That's that it, can't be true. But it worked out. It was very funny. In the in the least funny way possible, it was hysterical because it was just it was awkward. And I'm sure everybody in the class, cause I told you like everybody in the class who possibly could have been there for that damn play that night. Cause it's not like that was the only night of the play. Like it had been going on for at least I think two weeks. I'm sure at that point, everybody in the class knew that he was probably talking about me. It was interesting. Let me tell you, I was like, I guess we're dating. So that's, that's what happened. Yeah, we started dating and like dead ass. He was the first person who was ever like a semi-decent boyfriend. And I was like, that's all it takes. Now we're engaged. <laughs> Gives you a minor amount of human decency. <laughs> married. Oh God, it's horrible. I should fix myself. No, I'm totally kidding. He's great. We're like, really, we really are like best friends. I don't really like people. I mean, I like people. I just don't like being, I find it emotionally exhausting to be around people. And that's kind of like with the empath thing and everything. I just feel like, and I feel like even with people I'm really comfortable with, I can't always just be myself. And that's like, that's probably more on me than anybody else. Yeah, Nikki's honestly the one person in my life that I feel like really has like never judged me or just, you know, 
has always been there for me, has always supported me. So so we have a, a really good relationship and it's, it's not always been perfect. I mean, we've definitely had struggles. Um, a little bit in college, there was like a, a while we separated, but we still hung out. And then we just were like, well, we're basically still dating just without the label of dating. And we got back together and then, then we got engaged. So yeah, that's that's the story of us. It's, what do, would you like to add anything, Nikki, onto that fun story? I'm sorry. <laughs> just in jet, just as yeah. in the whole. I'm not that great. Well, you could be worse. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> Yeah, I think about that, the, just the, yep, yep, yep. What, uh, what do you remember from it? Cause I mean, obviously I'm telling it from my side of the story, so. Uh, I remember when we first started talking, I don't remember what it is that I said, but I 100% am pretty sure that it was just a comment I made under my breath to myself and you were there and you found it funny. And I was like, oh, oh God, now I don't know what to do. It's like Ricky Bobby not knowing what to do with his hands. That was me talking. I to am paralyzed. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally me talking to Taylor. And then we started to get to know, e know each other. And I was like, wow, she's fantastic. Like, she's amazing. True. And then, yeah, and then that day in theater happened. And I was, yeah, I don't even know what, what I was thinking. That was so cringy. And everything about that situation was just... For like, honestly, until we broke up and got back together because he did actually ask me to be his girlfriend again when we got finally got back together. And we were only broken up for a couple months. It was probably like four or five months that we were broken up. About about a semester of college we were apart. But like I said, we still hung out all the damn time. So it was like, we we were, but we really weren't like it. But for like the longest, like for the whole first like couple years of our relationship, I'd just be like, well, he never actually, we're not like officially dating because he never asked me out. So he just kind of like told, told everybody and I, I was never, I didn't get to partake in that decision. So are we together? Are we not together? I don't know. That is the question. Yeah, I just decided and you went along with it. I was just, I did, I was like. That's the worst that could happen. I, I was, I honestly, there was part of me that was like, if I was a real bitch, I could have been just like, oh, who are you dating? <laughs> or just been like, no, we're not. No, no, just, we're not. No, we're not. Right then. <laughs> He's I, like. I need to leave. <laughs> Due to circumstances, I will be passing away. <laughs> All right, this is the finished look. I really like it. I just think it's very soft. It's very subtle, beautiful palette. I'm really glad that I picked this up. I think $12 is an absolute steal for it. Um, I'm kind of kicking myself for not buying more. I knew I would. <laughs> this is again what it looks like. And this is the Caramel Melange um, palette from Zoeva. I like it, should have bought, bought some other ones. I'm hoping maybe like around the holidays, they'll put them back on sale at some point and I can pick up maybe a couple more because I definitely want to try out more of their collection. There were, um, there was like an all matte one that I really wanted to get. There was a spice one that was kind of like red tone, which you guys know is right up my alley. So yeah, great palette, really easy to blend, really beautiful. Um, I can always tell when a palette is really, really nice because when I'm telling my stories, I don't get frustrated with it and I don't feel a need to be like, hey, this is, driving me crazy right now because that does happen sometimes but this is just an easy workable palette so i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope you guys enjoy I, it was supposed to be like a get to know me and it wound up being like how i came up with like the show name and then my relationship with nikki but we will do a couple more where it's like fun facts and stuff like that i'll get better this was just kind of like a whim like literally i sat down and i was like what what do i talk about and nikki's like i don't know and i was like well Thanks for nothing. So let's do this. So then I threw him under the bus and told the world how awkward he was as a child and honestly still is. So you're welcome, bud. Next time have a next time have a talking point ready. <laughs> have some pocket talking points for, right for me. Why don't you? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you like us, you stayed this long, you might as well subscribe, right? So hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see every time we post, I do a ton of first impression videos like this and a lot of unboxings and a lot of other random stuff. So it's always a mystery. <laughs> other than that, I hope you guys are all safe and healthy right now and you have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.